the side trip continues on. Fit the head into the fixture where it don't move. All it is is, if, if you remember, them holes drilled in the workbench. Very secure. The, the segment for today is valve seats. And you see that how how uh, all of them is really good. Valve seats. Let's get on past them valves. And we will we will face this. Uh, try to get it in this segment here. The the, the 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 subject at hand is this is that one and a half horsepower, and this is just a side trip on the Balin War engine series. The in this head here, if I can bring it to your attention, is it's quite good. It has a very gnar seat, indicating that this is probably, and just looking at it, this is most likely a factory cut seat. I don't think this head has been repaired, never. It, it just indicates it being in good condition. Some of them, after well, any of them, after you after you cut this seat, either with a stone or or ever how a lathe, ever how a meal, ever how you do it, this this seat will get wider. They cut, and I, this is pretty much optimal right here, and that's about uh, I don't know. Let's let's measure that. And as not to get technical about it, we just use the trusty old six inch ruler. And that's about a half of an eighth, let's say. And if you put it right over here, it's um, it's about a sixteenth of an inch. I think I think if I was going to tell somebody, I'd say that's a sixteenth of an inch. It's pretty uh yeah, that's pretty good. That's a reliable number. Quote, you can quote me on that sixteenth of an inch bow face on this head. Not to tarry. Uh, remember, you need a secure head. The uh and to cut this seat, to recap, we have installed the valve guides, fitted the valve stems to the guide. We're completed with that. That's that's an operation in itself, is valve guides. Check back. This particular one right here, in, uh, and, and I did mic the valve stem, and I do know that it's .311, 311 thousandths, so I choose this pilot. Uh, the bottom size, the top size, is 297,000. That is is the system I'm using today, and this will this when you put the pilot into the uh, the 311 when you put it down in the guide, it's a it's a real good snug fit, no play whatsoever. If you if you have a, if you have a, a pilot that you put in there and it's loose, then you will not have success cutting. You have chatter. The and this this 311 works in both of those. The cutter head I'm using today, and I'm using the Neway system. That is N E W A Y, and this is not to be construed, not to be meant as a how to do article. It's just the way I do it. So simple it is. It's a Neway cutter head. This particular one right here actually cuts a 31 degree with these cutters here and it cuts a 46 degree here the valve face on the valve will be a 45 the seat will be a 46 so you put this on the pilot with the 46 down yonder the handle and and there is a motorized apparatus available for these cutters the one thing that I may point out, emphasize, is do not turn this cutter in reverse. It's a carbide cutter right there. They are very delicate. They're harder than a rock, but they're easy to chip. It's kind of like glass. The um, I've used, I've cut a mini of a valve seat with this set right here. They do last a long time. 
and the, the I will give you some uh, list of what works for me. The ideal position is to get your valve seat in the center of the cutter blades, meaning that if you have a and th there is a minimum and maximum range on the seat diameter that you can cut with one of these heads. So you, 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 you these are adjustable. If I, if I had a bigger seat, I could actually adjust them up here to the maximum amount, and then I could adjust them down almost till they hit that guide there. That way for a much smaller seat. So I do have them adjusted now where that the seat is actually about halfway of the cutter blade. Uh, fit it onto the mandrel. It's it's a uh, cast iron head that I worked on. And that's the only thing I have ever used this cutter heads on is cast iron. And that may contribute to the longevity of the uh, cutter head. And the and the uh, and these are available in several several different sizes. Uh, even up, uh, I mean, you can get a big one if you want to. Uh, and then actually, uh, you can go down and get a little one. So and even littler or and bigger. Uh, don't don't be limited to the size of your hole as to what you can do with these things. Remember the 46 downwards. And do not turn this thing backwards. Meaning, when, when when you put this down on here, don't go like this right here. Do not go backwards. Do not do that. Go forward at all times. The minimal. Let me let me stress this. And you see, I've not made, I've not made no attempt to cut nothing yet because this is quite important. Quite important. I mean, take notes. Sharpen your pencil. You only are required to remove the amount of material that will produce a clean, uniform seat completely all the way around. And when you put in a new valve guide, when you drill that hole, it is never, it, it just never lines up exactly with the seat. So as a as a uh, normal, this pilot right here will be at a different angle as to the original. And if you did it again, when you do this again, it'll be a few thousandths off. We're not talking much, but enough to where that when you cut the seat, it will actually be a little bit wider on one side and the other. So just be aware of that. And you, the ideal is to keep this at the minimal seat, not to a point, but the seat contact surface to the valve head. Does you don't want no quarter inch seat right here? That's too much. Anyways, let's cut this seat and be done with it. Put that on there. I am cutting it dry. Occasionally, you will find a seat that has hardened itself because it, it, it just sat there and hammered its, its on its seat so much that uh, it actually work hardens the the, the, er, the cast iron. So occasionally, you will find one that's hard that you do need some lubricant, and and you should lay in if you order if you was to happen to to purchase a set of these. Uh, do not just when you make the purchase of this make the purchase of the cutting lubricant the cutting fluid you do not want to use oil here it's not uh, you do not use a lubricant on a cutting if you're oh I will get to that using cut motor oil on honing cylinders you know you just don't do that you need a cutting fluid we're gonna cut these dry the leave a comment leave a comment up to now leave a comment